Welcome back to Movie Reviews by Movie Lovers. And today's is a wonderful one. One that I'm already wearing a shirt for. Unfortunately, she's not. Couldn't find it. Yeah. It's Deadpool, the first one. <laughs> um, well, like normal, we do our rating first, which is going to be one through five. And then it's going to be our short version of this. Spoiler alert, long version review. All right, ready? <laughs> This is a five <laughs> for both of us, but that's just because we love this man with, um, Mark with a mouth. That's what it is. Mark. Mark with a mouth. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, short version. It is not child friendly at all. Yeah, I think that's about all we can say. <laughs> if you want your kid to see this, Wait until you know they've got a mouth on them, and then you can show it. Yeah, this movie has comedy. Has a lot of violence. Sex. A lot of sex, too. That, too. And that's, like, right off the bat. So if you do not want your kids knowing about that right now, I would leave the room and just walk away. Deadpool is not your movie. So I think we'll say spoiler alert, because we can't really say much during the short stuff, because, um... The meat of it is the spoilers. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Well, we don't have very much Deadpool stuff. I got a couple hats and a lanyard and all that and this little bobble. But I'm planning to buy a T-Rex version of Deadpool. Just because it's cute. Deadpool Rex. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so. I think we've given you guys enough time. Deadpool. Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Deadpool, um... Sex! That's not where I was going! <laughs> I screwed over. <laughs> no, no, no. We're thinking that Ryan Reynolds needs to get in his Deadpool outfit, dress up in a pink tutu with a tiara, and come out saying, I'm a Disney princess, and having what I, you were saying, Cable is fairy godmother? Okay, okay, she's not saying it completely correct. Now, I know Deadpool had a pink uh, getup of his uniform and when he did the breast cancer awareness. I want him to pick that back up again and put a little pink tutu on it. And I want him to come walking out and basically just be, like, all prissy and all that and having fun and making some jokes and then I want Cable to come out in this little fairy godmother outfit. And yes, Cable in a fairy godmother outfit. Wait, what if it was in a uh, um, pixie instead of fairy godmother? He'd be wearing a Tinkerbell's little yes. green dress. Yes! And then and then you just see the humiliation on his face. And you, he, just, he just touches Deadpool with his magic wand. And all of a sudden, Deadpool turns into... A princess. <laughs> and he's got either any of the Disney princesses dress. I don't care. And I and, actually think he'd look better in Aurora's. <laughs> and then all you have to do, all he'd be, and he'd have his little princess tiara, and he'd all of a sudden go, I'm a Disney princess. And I know that Disney can do this because they own Deadpool. Yes. And they can make it as clean as they want. But I want to see him literally saying, he is a Disney princess. Because, guess what? He is. <laughs> He's a motherfucking princess now. Yep. <laughs> and um, yes, you're going to get a bunch of la language probably during this one, because... Because this is a fucking great movie. <laughs> <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> so, I hope you do have the little kitties put away for this review. <laughs> yeah, I might have to mark it. Yeah, we might have to make this a red band. <laughs> uh, movie theater terms what if you haven't watched our first video on youtube we originally from theaters and we both saw this when we were first dating i mean it, there is a line in there when he's like yeah your girlfriend thought that you you were going to a superhero movie and it turned out to be totally different and gross we were starting out dating when we saw this yeah <laughs> So we went on the, to this movie on a date, and she found out how incredibly, horribly gory I am. <laughs> and yes, Deadpool is my superhero. And yes, he doesn't consider himself a superhero, 
but he is. If I could have a superpower like his, I that would be awesome. Except I hope you wouldn't have his, um, what he looks like. So I'd have to go hunt down Francis and kill him too. Yep. <laughs> but I, I, okay, so getting into the movie part of this, you know, when he, when he gets turned in and, and, um, when he's at the, the place where they're supposed to turn him into superheroes or mutants, basically when he, he, here's, uh, his name is, what, Borak? No. Ajax. Ajax. He's like, he, I, the moment I heard that name in the theaters, I'm like, he's named after Soap. <laughs> and, and then when he finds out his name is Francis, I'm like, oh, that's, that's just so cute. His name is Francis. No wonder he changed it. <laughs> I guess Francis isn't a good enough bad guy name. No, how would you like it if a bad guy came up to you and goes, my name is Francis. I'm laughing. <laughs> like we've said before, this is all ad lib. This is just fun. <laughs> all the other parts that we love are the sex scenes with him and his girl. I still love the fact that he pulled the ring out of his butt. Mm -hmm. And you know he did. <laughs> um, I think... I mean... The whole movie in itself is just disgusting, pure, beautiful stuff. Oh, and he also <laughs> does bring uh, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine character in um, to this movie. Yes. Yes, he does, in the beginning. Oh, and then... Uh, we don't know if you know what breaking the fourth wall means, but he does this a lot. It's where he's basically talking to the audience. He like he like makes like a comment doing like he broke sixteen walls in one scene because of how many things happened. No, I I just love the part where it starts out and it's like a scene where it's just pure fighting. And like you see all these references to Ryan Reynolds in the in the beginning scenes and like everything's going going wrong, he's fighting, and then he realizes he forgot the majority of his ammo. So he's only got, what, 12 shots? Yeah. And so you hear him counting. And I love the fact that they show the bullets with the number on it. <laughs> I think my favorite scene out of that is when he gets shoot in the butt, shot in the butt, and then also when he takes out three guys in one, one shot. That was cool. He also gets shot through the wrist. No, 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 he, he cuts his... Okay. No, he gets shot through the wrist and he goes, What the? Yeah, he's like... <laughs> He's like touching the hole. But um, they do involve X Men in this, but it's only two of them because he makes a joke about them not being able to afford all of them, which is kind of true. I love in the the second one they kind of do the same thing, but we'll have to watch that later. <laughs> but I I do like the fact that when he mentions about uh, 30, 36, 37, 37 hours, I think the guy had to cut his wrist. Twenty seven hours. Twenty seven hours. Sorry. And, and like, when he, when he goes, he's, like, doing this to the big guy. <laughs> and you're just like, ah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm like, everything that happens with Deadpool is just aggressively gross and fun and stupid. <laughs> I mean, like, they, the guys that were driving the, the dump truck that he w fell into, like, he's like, he, he's like, I'm sorry I bled all over your, your garbage. <laughs> Like, how did they even know he was in the vehicle? Yeah, really. <laughs> and of course, he, when he turns into Deadpool, he lives with a blind woman. Yeah. And apparently she can build Ikea furniture. The, the first attempt is a little bad. And he, like, doesn't even care. He's like, I pay the rent, you get to build the furniture. It's like, she's blind. Oh, I do love the statement he does when he's about to leave at the end date. And he goes, yeah, there's like uh, some odd grams of cocaine next to the cure to blindness. And the other guy's like, do you want to get fucked up? It's like, are you going to find it for her? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh yeah, and I love the taxi driver. Because, like, he's, he's going, I'm not tough enough. And then he kidnaps the guy and has him in the back of his vehicle. And he gets in an accident with the guy in the back of the vehicle. <laughs> it's like, Betty went to jail that day. <laughs> but you first, 
I think it's he first starts out in a cab and he's like cleaning off of a piece of gum and then he's like trying to get off his finger and he flicks it onto the camera. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the other part is, in the beginning, is, like, he tries to squeeze through that small window, and, like, his butt gets in everybody's face, even the cameras. And it's like, oh my goodness, gracious. Deadpool is one of those that I hope does not get turned into PG-13 because of Disney. That would oh, just ruin the whole but, thing. But remember, they tried. They did try. It wasn't any too bad either. Because <laughs> we saw the R-rated version, and we saw the G- PG-13 version. There wasn't very much difference. <laughs> Except it was a little cleaner in the... Mm, he put in some stuff. <laughs> now, if you, if you want to see Deadpool, watch the R-rated stuff. Because that is Deadpool. And I love how he came up with the, his name. Because he, he basically was on a, a Deadpool, which is like, who's going to die first? And he'll never lose it, because guess what? He's dead already! <laughs> I hope they would release an unrated version of it, because that would just be hilarious. No, oh, you just want to see a specific part of him. Okay, no R-rated movies. Do you ever get to see a guy's penis? I know. Well, except for Porky's. Which we'll explain that one later. Well, no, you kind of get in, in this one. In the fight scene, um, after he's blown up the area, you kind of get that, uh, the glimpse but it's a, it's a little short. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Watch this. I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure your love your your loved ones are very happy. <laughs> if I don't make her laugh, it, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, her goal is to make me laugh every single day. Well, it keeps the relationship fresh. <laughs> See. <laughs> All right, I think we've uh, beaten this one enough. You no? think we've beaten it to a pulp? No, I think there's more to be beaten, but... We don't, don't want to spoil it too much. Yeah. You gotta go watch this. And if, if you haven't al- I mean, if you haven't already, then you're crazy. Well, they're just pure. <laughs> I mean, if you can't watch Deadpool and and not be like, Oh my goodness gracious, you know? You want to be on the edge of your seat with Deadpool. And go watch the second one, too. I mean, I wish I owned it, but I just don't have the money to grab it right now. <laughs> and every time I go looking for it, it's always gone. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Deadpool is awesome. I mean, if you don't believe me, I mean, just look at Ryan Reynolds. He's awesome. <laughs> and he is Deadpool. Like, any movie he's in, he still has that essence. And if you know anyone who knows Ryan Reynolds... Please tell them our idea. We'd love it. Yeah, also if you know anybody in the head of Disney, give them that idea too. <laughs> so that way he can be incorporated into the Disney parks. I'm pretty sure they would never do that. Yeah. Maybe the Marvel side of it. It'd be he, hilarious. He can he can do that. Because he technically can be part of Marvel and be a part of DC. Because he is technically both of them. Yeah. Which is really cool. And also, one good part about him is he's the only character that actually knows that Stan Lee's dead. Which is so sad. But yeah. He's the only one that knows. And Stan Lee is in this movie. He's the DJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, what are you talking about? Stan Lee's in this movie? <laughs> he's in the second one, too. I forget what he's in in the second one. He's, like, in the preview part thing when he was like it was a um I haven't seen it in so long he's like in he's close to the beginning of it okay but yeah yeah that's a good movie I think we're done I think you're too all right so next uh come back next time for another review so we'll talk to you guys later Bye. bye